Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Vision of Joe or Charisma here and I'm bringing you a brand new YouTube video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys step by step how I created this image on the screen as you guys can see uh, We did some pretty crazy changes to this one So if you guys want to learn sit back relax grab a snack and or a drink and I'm gonna teach you guys how to make this if you guys want to follow along Please make sure you guys have some form of Photoshop or this tutorial will not be possible So I'm going to leave a link to the download down below so you can purchase it or get your first uh month free like i said download the link below if you don't have photoshop already and let's hop straight into it want to follow along with me and uh, try and copy exactly what i do i'm going to leave the link to the original image down below shout out to kai botcher bowie however you want to say it the amazing pictures as always um yeah other than that let's hop straight into it so our first step here is as you guys can see we have our original picture in photoshop so what we're going to do is duplicate it by hitting Control j or command j on our keyboard it's an easy way to duplicate instead of just going here and then hitting duplicate layer and then hitting OK. So um, our next step here is, as you guys can see, we have a lot of reds and whatnot. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to our adjustments and selective color. For this, selective color is going to be everything. I repeat, everything. This is literally going to make or break this edit. With selective color, this is going to be literally the only way that this edit is possible. So please, please, please follow along everything i do like i said previously um adjusting the colors is honestly just personal preference trying to do your best to follow along or do what you think looks best in your eyes okay so finally what we see here is a lot of magentas and red so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our magentas and we are just going to play around with it and try and pull that color out as much as we possibly can uh we'll go there make it purple Make that purple we're gonna go into our reds we're just gonna keep playing around with this finding out trying to figure out which what looks best uh, this definitely isn't gonna be a hundred percent exactly how my first version was but I am going to try my absolute hardest so um, next I'm gonna go back into my blues here uh, oh, maybe it's not time hold on All right, so what I can see here is a lot of reds and magentas and a little bit of yellows, but that, uh, the yellows are mainly going to be on the facial tone, so we're not really too worried about that right now. Our main focus is changing the color of this background and making it pop. So I'm going to start off with the reds here in this case, and I'm just going to try and figure out what looks best in my eyes. And I'm already liking this so far. I'm going to get that purple. As you guys can see, it's kind of uh, changing the colors of the face, but I'm going to get to that uh, very shortly and how we can uh, stop that from happening. Uh, next, we're going to go into our magentas and we're just going to keep playing around, trying to find the mix, trying to figure out what looks best in our eyes. Uh, we definitely want to go that way. And then we definitely want to go that way. So as you guys can see, what we've done already, we're just pulling the colors out. It is definitely as simple as that. What we're going to do again is we're going to go into our adjustments. We're going to click on selective layer, uh, selective color, excuse me. In the past, like I've mentioned before, um, this is mainly just all layer stacking, just pulling out colors. It's literally as simple as that. So um, back in my magentas, I'm literally just playing around with this, trying to figure out what looks good in my eyes. As you guys can see, we've already made a pretty big change. I'm going to go into my blues. Uh, actually, just kidding. I'm going to go into my reds and just try and get the purple going now. Uh, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, I'm going to go into my blues here, too, because I think it might let me make some changes. No, not yet. Uh, later down the road, the blues will come in handy. I'm going to go into my neutrals here, and I'm just going to just play with it a little bit, trying to see what looks best in my eyes. That looks pretty good. So this is where we're at already. Um, there's our original and this is where we're at. If you guys wanna figure out how to uh, get these colors off the face, I'm gonna show you guys very quickly. So uh, we're gonna hide this one quick. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to our mask. We're gonna make a new mask. And you, what you wanna do is make sure your brush is set as black. Your foreground color has to be black or this will not work. Make sure you hit B on your keyboard. Make your brush smaller, whatever you have to do. And what you're gonna do here is just slowly just paint away all the color changing that we did on the face. While doing that, since we're only erasing the face, it is not gonna, going to affect the colors of the leaves in the back as long as you uh, take your time with this and 
try and be as accurate as possible and it will not affect the leaves uh, what I'm going to do to speed this process up, since I already masked this out previously, I'm just going to duplicate the layer. So I'll be right back with you guys in just a second. All right, so since I uh, just brought that layer up, if you guys want to know how to duplicate your mask into the next one, what you want to do is hit all on your keyboard and just drag it up and hit yes. And that just uh, copy and paste the, the mask that we just did. So as simple as that, and we have our mask done, and we're just going to keep stacking our selective color adjustments. So... Uh, we're going to go back into our magentas. We're just going to play around with this. We want to get it purple. That's looking good. That's looking good. That's looking good. Now, this is where the blues might come into play here. Yep, they are coming into play. As you can see, the little slight adjustments they're making. Uh, it's kind of really just affecting the light on the bottom, but it still comes in handy. I'm going to play with the reds just a little bit more. Um, that looks good. That looks good. I'm going to duplicate my mask bang bang i like this a lot uh, i'm gonna go back in here i'm gonna go to the blacks quick i'm just gonna play with this very quickly i'm not gonna spend as much time as i would like to on this but for the sake of the video we're gonna do things quick next we're gonna go back into adjustments we're gonna hit exposure uh for the most part i tend to use this on almost every one of my designs as well i like to lift the shadows a little bit so you don't really see the weird stuff going on in the background I don't want to list it a lot, so I'm going to go to like a 0.35. I'm going to turn my gamma up a little bit like that. And you can even put some exposure on this too. But that looks pretty good. So as you guys can see, what we have so far is simply this. Uh, our next step is now we want to kind of focus on the face tone. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our selective color. We're going to go into yellows. Yellows are going to be the colors of the hair and some slight highlights on the face. So I'm going to play around with this very quickly and try and find the mix that I am comfortable with. It's like that. I'm comfortable. I'm going to go into my reds, play around. This is going to mainly affect the brightness of the face and the colors of the face. So that looks good in my eyes. Um, what we can do here is we can add another selective color layer. We'll go to our magentas again. And we're just going to try and make this a little brighter. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. See, our main focus point is kind of coming in like right here. So what we want to do is we want to like black out the edges. So when uh, the person is looking at this image, their main focus point goes straight to the face and nowhere else. So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to hit B on our keyboard. I'm going to hit X, make our foreground color black. And what we're going to do is we're just going to paint in very slightly. Just some simple things like this. Uh, I'm going to turn up my opacity on my brush. Okay, there we go. Just gonna paint simple things in like this. Uh, maybe a little bigger brush might come in handy. Um, like I said, this is gonna be uh, fixing our focus point of the image. We want this, the eyes to attract directly to the center, and this is going to help us with the, that. I'm gonna put this to 20. That's usually what I like to go with. Um, I'm going to quickly put this in a group and just see what we're working with. It looks really good in my eyes already. So what we can do from here is add some lighting to try and give it like some cool effects. So uh, we're going to make a new layer again. Uh, we're going to try and pull this color out from the background about here, make it more pink. Uh, we're going to hit B on our keyboard and we're just going to go like this. We're just going to add some brushes uh, around the image slightly like so uh that looks good we're gonna put our uh blending option to screen we're gonna turn this down a little bit that looks good uh next i'm gonna make another new layer i'm gonna try and change this color to like a bluish purple so right about here is gonna work for me uh and then i'm gonna put another brush right there I'm going to hit screen again, and I'm going to turn the opacity of the fill down a lot on this one. Uh, you guys can really just play around with the lights, adding cool effects, and changing the colors to the light is uh, really unique sometimes. Even orange tends to look good in this situation, which actually looks really good. And I honestly like that, so I'm going to leave it, turn the screen, uh, turn the fill down to about there. Make control U and just try and change the foreground color a little bit. Looking good, looking good. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna turn the uh, opacity down just a wee bit again. 
and yeah that looks that's looking pretty good so i'm gonna go over my final steps that i usually like to take for this what i do from here is i merge all my groups together hit Control g Control j Control e Control a Control j again and that just gets rid of all the excess stuff uh, just lingering around in the gray areas so uh, i'm gonna duplicate one more time and what I usually do from here is I go into camera raw filter, and this is where the magic usually happens. So first of all, before I even touch anything, I'm gonna add a vignette and uh, turn up the sharpness a little bit to get it to pop a little more and try and uh, up the quality. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna put a medium vignette on. That looks good. I'm gonna hit E on my keyboard, and I'm just gonna delete where the lights are coming in. So it doesn't really affect that part. Okay, that looks good. Control E, we're gonna hit Control J again. Quick duplicate, go back into camera raw filter. Next, I might, I'm gonna add a little bit of a temperature on this, a little bit of a tint. I think last night I went with a 5.5, five, try and cancel things out. And I definitely did, because I could just tell the difference it made. I'm gonna turn the lights up a little bit and our tone curves to about seven. Highlights can even go up. You turn the blacks to about negative three or shadows to two um, we can go into this little guy I really enjoy this tool a lot it's super helpful if you guys don't use this little tool in Photoshop you really should because it is very simple and game-changing in my opinion um, this is looking good I'm gonna add a little more contrast to get things to pop turn the highlights up turn the lights up blacks can go down a little bit more honestly Next, I'm going to go into here, and I'm just going to play with our HSL adjustments to try and get this exactly where it was at last night. Like I said previously, this is all personal preference of what you personally think looks best, so by, by all means, you don't exactly have to follow along, but it will definitely help you to get a better understanding of what I'm doing exactly. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, sorry, I sped that up just a little bit because I just wanted to make things quicker because this video is getting a little bit on the longer side. Uh, this is where I'm at right now. I'm going to add uh, just a little bit more exposure here. And then I'm going to go, I think we can go with like a 0.8. I'm going to hit OK just to see where we're at and what we just did. And honestly, I like this. found this helpful. Uh, please let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see more videos like this in the future Please let me know down below So I really like how this turned out if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future Please let me know down below or on Instagram. I read all my messages and comments I really try my best on that to interact with as many of you guys as possible because it really means the world to me that all you guys support me and my visions and respect me for what I do so if you guys found this helpful, like I said, please let me know down below. Check out the links in the description below. And that's really been it. It's been your boy Vision of Joe, and I'm out. Peace.